Good morning, Northland Assembly. Everybody repeat after me. Say next week. I'm excited to be there in person next week. It's going to be beautiful. I'm excited to be with some friends of mine, missionaries. Uh, we're going to be coming up from the cities together, uh, community, um, <coughs> connection. <coughs> it's going to be beautiful. Can't wait to see you guys, for real. I want to see as many of you as possible uh, while I'm in town. And and man, I'm just excited. Can we pause and can we just... Um, acknowledge the fact that God is in the room. Can you repeat after me? Come on, we're going to say, God is in the room. Come on, say it. God is in the room. Let's change that. Now we're going to say, God, you're in the room. Here we go. God, you're in the room. Would you close your eyes and say it again? Here we go. God, you're in this room. Holy Spirit, we recognize we don't have to beg for your presence, but that you are in us as the temples of your Holy Spirit, that you are alive and active and that you're here. God, we slow down and we, I think of the lyrics of gratitude. Come on, my soul. Don't get shy. Get up. There's a line inside of you. Praise the Lord. We slow down enough this morning morning to wake up our bodies, our souls, and get alignment with our perfected spirits, Lord, as as we just remind ourselves that you are good and that you are here. Man, I just command um, illness and disease to go in Jesus' name. I just command sickness to go in Jesus' name. Just like black specks, you have to go in Jesus' name. Would, would lungs, black specks on lungs be healed right now in Jesus' name? I think about how Jesus would walk through town, walk through the streets, and people would reach out and touch the edge of his garment, just the, the bottom of his shirt or the, the sleeve on his arm, and they would be healed. How, how powerful is that? And how powerful is it that God is, Spirit, His Spirit, the Spirit of God, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, is in the room with us right now. So whatever you need, would you just uh, reach out in your heart and just say, Jesus, I need, come on, can we present just our needs to him? Jesus, we just have needs. We, God, I've had this cold in my chest and my head. God, I'm tired of it. It's been, it's been, it's been over a week. Would you just heal my body, Lord? Would you just bring healing, God? Would you bring healing, God, to allergies in this place? Would you bring healing to cancer has to leave this room in Jesus' name? People watch it online. You got to be healed in Jesus' name. And just declare the blood of Jesus, the stripes. We use the word stripes, the, the cuts, the scrapes, the wounds, the, the digs in Jesus' back have paid for the healing. Oh God, I thank you that you don't have to die on the cross again. You did it once and for all to pay for all of this. So we just invite healing in Jesus' name, God, for, for wisdom that you would navigate us along green pastures and still waters and wisdom as we're working through murky and difficult relationship situation. God, I think of a situation I'm helping a friend of mine work through right now with difficult relationship issues that you would allow us, God, give us the wisdom and the peace. And would you just bring peace to hearts on both sides of this part? Would you, would you restore marriages in this church, God? Would you, would you do what only you can do, Lord? Would you provide financially, God? We reach out and we ask you. God, we need your touch in our finances. We need your wisdom and your strategy. I just thank you that I just see stuff clearing out in Jesus' name. Hey, can we now just begin to thank him for who he is, what he's done, and what he's about to do? If you want to lift your hands with me, you can. God, we give you the glory for who you are, for what you've done, and what you're about to do, for who you are, for what you you've done and what you're about to do for who you are, how great you are for all the glorious things you've done and what you're going to do. We give you the glory before we even see it because we put our faith and our trust in you. And before we sing this song, church, I want to just stay in this posture of prayer and I want to pray these lyrics out and that when we start to sing this song, it would sink different in our hearts because it's not just lyrics on a page, but it's a cry in our hearts. So God, we just admire you as our hero. You're the hero of heaven and earth. God, you're the hero of the story. God, you have freed every captive. Every captive has freedom available then to them because of you, has freedom available to them because of what you've done. God, that you have defeated the scariest things in our lives and in, in the story. The hero has defeated the scariest enemies in the story. You've defeated death and the grave. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you've freed us from death and the grave. God, you've broken every chain. There's no chain in this room that's too scary or too dark for you. 
God, that we lift our hands and we worship you and we dance in your freedom. And as we wake ourselves up to this situation, God, we become awake and alive as we engage with you. That there is freedom in here, God. Jesus, you are our Savior, and we declare that you are the God who does the impossible and does great things. In Jesus' name, everybody said, come on, can we clap our hands with a shout of praise and worship him as we sing this song together? Come on, sing, come let us worship. Come let us worship our King. Come let us bow at his feet. He has done great things. See what our Savior has done. See how his love overcomes. He has done great things. He has done great things. Oh, hero of heaven, you conquered the grave. You freed every captive and break every chain. Oh, God. You have time. Come on, we dance in your freedom. We dance in your freedom. Awake in life. Oh, Jesus, our Savior, your name lifted high. Oh, God, you have done great things. You've been faithful through every storm. You'll be faithful forevermore. You have done great things. And I know you will do it again. For your promise, yes and amen. Oh, you will do great things. Yeah. God, you do great things. And break every chain, oh God, you have done great things. We dance in your freedom, awake and alive. Oh Jesus, our Savior, your name lifted high, oh God, you have done great. Oh, we sing hallelujah, God, above it all and high. Hallelujah, you have done great things. Yeah, you've done great things. We say, Hallelujah, God, we're above it all. And hallelujah, God, unshakable. Hallelujah, you have done great things. You've done great things. our eyes to heaven where our help comes from yeah And hallelujah, you have to great things. Oh, 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 hero of heaven, you conquer the grave. You freed every captive and break every chain. Oh, God, you have done great things. We dance in your freedom awake and alive oh jesus our savior your name lifted high oh god you have done great things 
Oh, come on, would you just thank him for who he is and what he's done in this place? Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're so faithful, God, through every storm. God, I know I can count on you. I can trust in you. Put my hope in you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I put my hope in you no matter what it looks like, God. Oh, cause you are more than able. You are more. for me why do I talk myself out of sea in miracles you are more than able yeah you are yeah you are Lord you are more true Lord you are more than able you are more than able who am I to deny what the Lord can do yeah you can do the impossible Come on, sing this up. Now I see all that I have. I've got my confidence back. Oh, I put my trust in the one who still does miracles. You do miracles. You are more than a. You're working, you 
never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, cause that is who you are. Yeah. That is who you are. 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 Cause even when we say, even when I don't see it, you working. You're working, you never stop, you never stop working, you never stop, you never stop working, even when I don't see it, you're working, even when I don't feel it, you're working, you never stop, you never stop working, cause you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, oh my God, that is who you are. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, oh my God, that is who you are. Oh, keep singing it, way maker, Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Wayne maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. 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 You are more than a are more than able, yes you are Lord, oh, 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 you are more than able, you are more than able, who am I to deny what the Lord can, sing that last line, who am I? To deny what the Lord, no matter what it looks like, who am I to deny what the Lord in one more time? Who am I to deny what the Lord in? Cause anything is possible, yeah, yeah. Anything is possible, yeah. Anything is possible.
thank you that no matter what it looks like, that we declare and we trust and we believe that you're the God of the impossible. That you've done great things, that you're doing great things, that you will do great things. I'm reminded of the concept one of my favorite authors wrote. He said, I'd suggest to you the idea that what if the valley of shadow of death and the green pastures were the same location? It's the same place. It's the same thing. But when your eyes are on yourself and on looking down, looking at your situation, looking at the couple steps in front of you, Everything around you feels like the valley of shadow death, but when you get your eyes up and you lock eyes with the good shepherd, everything around you feels like the green pastures, the still waters. God, we get our eyes on you instead of our situations. I know that that might feel like a stretch and that might not, that, that might not resonate with you, but, but I do feel like he's asking us to get our eyes on him that we would stop telling God how big our problems are and start telling our problems how big our God is. Come on. So can we end by singing this out together? Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. Of his glory and